thoroughly unacceptable uh, behaviour that goes against everything we have been uh, doing in the city these uh, recent years to uh, build partnership, uh, build collective action, and uh, make sure this is a, a city of fairness um, in which people are taken care of. Uh, we have people we know roll around the country looking for any opportunity to participate in a demo um, and any opportunity to live out their fantasies of being revolutionaries by attacking symbols of what they see as the establishment. And, uh, and I suspect that's an element of, you know, a very strong element of what happened in Bristol last night. doesn't matter what the issue is, it's just an opportunity to you know, to live out their fancies. What in have they done has done anything to lessen the likelihood of this bill going through? What they have done will just be put in the evidence bag of those who want the bill to go through in the first instance and increase the likelihood of people from communities that have been on the rough end of the criminal justice system being on the rough end of the criminal justice system. It brings us no closer to, just, to justice. In our city, we have prioritised building homes for people, tackling child hunger, uh, poverty, digital exclusion. These people have not been at the table, not made any contributions to the real struggles and the real challenges of, of, of people in this city. And turning up um, at, you know, to, to smash the city up, again, does nothing. So they've got nothing to do with what we're trying to get done in Bristol. It's just selfish, self-indulgent, self-centred uh, violence.